Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the new Forward F7 Dual Gyro Flat Controller from AGLRC. In this video I'm going to go over its features and once the weather will clear up I'm going to head outdoors and test it out. Inside the small box along with the flight controller you're getting some stickers, a harness for connecting the flight controller with a 4-in-1 ESC, 4 rubber spacers for soft mounting the flight controller, spacers and screws, and you're also getting the user manual, and by the way, this is not the final version, and when the product will be released, you're going to get a small card that will help this diagram. The weight of the flight controller is 10.30 grams, the distance between the mounting holes is the standard 30 millimeters, and its outer dimensions are 36.9 by 37.8 by 7 millimeters. Just like its name, the flight controller features two gyros, so over here you can find an ICM2602 chip which will enable you to set the sampling rate of the flight controller to 32 kHz which is a feature that, by the way, Betaflight is going to deprecate soon and frankly I've been having lots of issues not with this flight controller but in general with 32 kHz sampling so I can understand why Betaflight is killing this feature and anyway, if you're going to set this flight controller to use the ICM2602 gyro I highly recommend that you should double check that everything is soft mounted properly, otherwise you're going to have some issues. By default, the flight controller is set to use the MPU6000 chip, and if you want to switch between the gyros, you will have to enter Betaflight CLI, enter set gyro to use, equals second if you want to use the ICM2602 chip, and if you want to set it to the MPU6000, set it to first. In addition, the flight controller features 5 free UART ports, which is probably more than you will need. Next to the micro USB port, you can find the boot button. First of all, I really like the form of this button, as opposed to this type, which in my experience can fall off pretty easily. In addition, its positioning is great, because when it's located on top, sometimes you're going to have a hard time to access it, especially if you're going to place a VTX on top of it, and if it's going to be located on the side like that, it's easy to press it and enter the DFU mode even when the quadcopter is assembled. Another nice feature is that this flight controller is using both connector and also pads for connecting the signals for the ESC. So first of all, if you're going to use a 4-in-1 ESC, probably you're going to opt in for using the connector. And if you're going to use individual ESCs, you can just use the pads. But the big advantage is that if some things go wrong, for example, if a pad stops working, or the connector gets somehow detached, you have a backup, which is a good thing to have. Now, if you compete in official drone racing events or you fly your quadcopters at night, you'll be happy to hear that this flight controller features four LED ports on the sides, so you can simply connect an LED strip on each corner and configure the flight controller to use it. Finally, on the front of the flight controller, you can find the connectors for the camera and for the VTX, so you can find a free UART port for connecting the smart audio and they also give you the option to power the VTX or the camera either by 8V, the battery or using a 5V pad. So overall, the AGLRC Forward V2 flight controller seems to have some pretty interesting features and I'm looking forward to see how it's going to perform when the weather will clear up. By the way, in terms of pricing, it costs $40, which is a pretty reasonable price for the features that it has. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the Ford F7 V2 flight controller, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.